Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something kind of fun and kind of different. I wanted to do a try-on haul of some spring summer dresses. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Clarissa Shaw. I'm a general dentist living in Southern California and this is my women's lifestyle channel. So I have six dresses from the company Meshki. They are an Australian clothing company. And I just wanna say that this video is not sponsored at all. Um, I did reach out to them um, to see if they could give to me two dresses, which they did. And some of the other dresses I just purchased on my own because I really like the quality, I like their styles, and I am planning my honeymoon, my true honeymoon, to Italy coming in September of 2023. So I'm already in the process of gathering together all of the clothes <laughs> that I wanna be taking on my trip. So all of the items that I picked out right here are perfect for the spring and summer. A lot of them have the tro tropical vibes. And a great thing that I didn't even know existed was that Meshki actually has some pretty big sales. So just recently, um, all of the dresses that I bought here um, and that they gifted me were in the sales section and they had like an extended Easter sale where all the items that were on sale were marked off an additional, I think it was like 30%. So I got all of these dresses for quite a bargain deal. Um, they were highly marked off of their original price and then I got them 30% off of that. So um, normally these dresses can run between like the $75 to $150 range, which for a really good quality piece is not that expensive. I have, you know, purchased some dress dresses in the past that are like in between the 70 to to 100 range. What's my preference? I kind of like fast fashion because I don't rewear my outfits all that much. So when I do invest in pieces, I want to invest in things like a luxury handbag or a really good fitting pair of shoes or, you know, a, a good coat, things that I can rewear with multiple outfits for my you know, regular outfits, especially like vacation outfits, I really don't mind if it's something that I'm gonna wear just a couple times and then donate it or resell it or what have you. So let's get started. I wanna show you these dresses, they're so, so cute. And I'm also going to be showing you in the mirror how I style them um, and different accessories that I put with them. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first dress that I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous turquoise maxi dress. Now, a reason why I just had to bite the bullet and say like, I need to get these dresses and I need to get them now before they sell out is because of this gold chain detail. I don't know if you know this, but I am obsessed with gold. I'm literally like gold member from Austin Powers. I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. So anytime I see an outfit that's got a gold chain or gold detail, I just feel like it makes it look expensive and classy and tasteful and timeless. And I, I love accessorizing with like a gold chain belt or gold hoop earrings, um, even gold bangles sometimes. Bracelets are not really my thing because my wrists are really tiny. So not a lot of bracelets, bracelets fit me, but I do love gold. So this dress is a halter dress and it's made out of this turquoise satin fabric. So the the gold strap is actually the, the chain strap that fits like this. And then in the back, it's kind of a low back and the gold chain strap carries on to the back side of the dress. I'm gonna show you a close up of what this looks like. So pretty, it's actually really thick and really good quality. So there are a few things that I love about this dress. First off, I love the color. In the past, I used to only wear neutrals and pretty much everything monochromatic, but a few years ago, I started incorporating more color and I love it. I think it's perfect for the summer. Um, it's not too busy. It's just the turquoise and the blue. And it just, it really reminds me of being uh, like on the Amalfi Coast, sipping a Pinot Grigio with a summer breeze, you know, running across my face. That's what I think of when I see this dress. And I like that it is modest, but also a little bit sexy. So it's a maxi dress, which is perfect because you don't have to show too much leg. It actually dries a little bit on the floor too. So if you wanted to wear sandals instead of heels, 
because you're on vacation uh, or whatnot, it could be totally fine. It's not going to take away from the elegance of the outfit. And the back is kind of a low back. So it being a low back shows just enough skin. It's a halter top. So, you know, you do have your shoulders exposed, but it's really not too out there. Another thing that I love about this dress, I'm going to show you when I try it on, is that it's actually not super tight in the tummy area. It is like a form-fitting dress where it hugs your hips and it, you know, hugs you on the top, but on the tummy area, it's a little bit loose. And I love that because when you're gonna go on vacation, you're eating all food, we're gonna get that food baby, you know, if you're, especially if you're having like pasta or, you know, whatever. If you have a good dinner and a good meal, you're gonna get a little bit of a food baby. So it's nice to have a dress that has a little bit of room in that area that's not gonna make you look like a freaking bloated worm <laughs> the second that you eat because it's so tight on you. It's good to have a little bit of space. So here I've styled the dress. You can see it's the perfect length. I'm five foot three and it reaches the ground just at my height level. It even drags a tiny bit. I like this because I can wear sandals instead of heels and you won't be able to tell. Now my favorite part about this dress is that it's loose in the tummy area but tight on the bust and tight on the hips. It's very forgiving for being on vacation and enjoying all of that food. Now the second dress that I picked out is this chartreuse green, also a maxi dress. It's really difficult to tell what the dress looks like right now when I'm holding it up because it's got a unique cutout, but I will put a picture up on the side so you guys can see kind of the entire silhouette of the outfit. And it's another one of those chain detail dresses. So I think this was an entire collection that they did with gold chain detail. Again, I ate it all up. I want every single piece. So this one I like because it's a one shoulder um, and the other shoulder kind of has this, this little chain strap, but it's not very tight. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not the tightest. It's pretty much just for decoration. The majority of the support that you're going to be getting on the top is going to be from the shoulder strap right here. And then it opens up on the midriff area. I'm not sure if the camera is getting this, but it also has a gold belt built into it. So this is really cute. I love this because this color is really bold. It's a super bold color and it's something that you can really only wear in the summer, you know, in those special occasions like birthday dress or, you know, you're going out on the town. Um, this is definitely not, it's, it's kind of a fancier piece. It's not something that you would wear like to the park or <laughs> like your friend's house. You have to have an occasion for a dress like this and vacation is always the perfect occasion or even, I don't know, just going out like for fun but you have to go out. You can't like stay in the house wearing something like this. So like I said, the yellow is just such a fresh color. Kind of reminds me of all the lemons that they have in Positano. I always pronounce that incorrectly. Um, so I really wanted to pick this up for my Italy trip so that I can match, you know, all the lemons and stuff like that. So here's the dress on. You can see that it's got that wonderful gold belt that's tied to the side. The gold strap is really just for decoration, uh, it's not super tight. Most of your support is gonna be coming from that one shoulder strap. But again, this one's just such a great length. It's so fresh and colorful, perfect for the summer, and it fits really, really nicely. Again, the length is perfect. If you wanna wear sandals, you can kinda cover it up. Here, I've paired it with a straw clutch. The third outfit that has the chain strap detail, this is the third dress I got and the last one with this chain strap detail is another maxi dress. This one is in all black and it's got that gold chain strap detail running around the midriff area of the dress. One thing I really like about these dresses is that they're tight. It's, it's a good thickness of material, it holds you in. You don't feel like it's about to snap the second you put it on, which can be the case when you buy like some of the less expensive items. So I do always really, really like the quality of Meshki and I love that they are usually all original pieces. They have their own in-house design team. And if you see, you know, other dresses that are similar, they're, they're likely replicas, <laughs> but um, they, they do design their own pieces. And I just think, they're jaw dropping, right? Like it's so simple, but 
also elegant and eye-catching and not something that you would see everyone else wearing. And that's another thing that I like. I like that their pieces are a little more unique. Here's this dress on. You can see that wonderful gold detail right along the midriff. This dress also has a slit, so it is a little more sexy, a little more for nighttime. I've paired it here with just a black patent leather clutch that's got a gold detail kind of to match the gold. It's so busy, I would definitely go on the simpler side in terms of accessories, but the dress, you know, just speaks for itself. Look how cute that is. The next dress I'm going to show you is this halter, um, this white halter dress. It's a very light material and um, when I originally saw this dress on the website, I thought that it was going to offer a little more coverage. I know that this one is more definitely more risque um, and I was okay with that. I This is something that I would only wear, you know, on a you know, on vacation with my husband essentially. Like not even, I would never wear this on a date night in LA that's like way too much. But if we were going to go to dinner, you know, or we were at the hotel and I wanted to be like extra va va voom, I would definitely wear something like this with my husband around to protect me. <laughs> but um, when I tried it on, I felt like it was look a lot more revealing than it looked on the model. Now I'm not sure if I just got, um, if I needed to size up a bit, it was final sale because it was on sale. But um, needless to say, I decided that this would be a really beautiful bikini cover up. So if we go to one of the, the beach clubs, it's not like a club club, it's like, you know, like a pool with, you know, you rent cabanas and stuff like that. If we go to one of the beach clubs or maybe, you know, Vegas or something like that, then this is definitely something that I can wear over my bikini. It's a halter, so that's really nice. If you have a triangle bikini top, it's not gonna be showing the straps in the back, so it's gonna look a little more seamless. And I think a main reason is it's just got such a high slit. The cleavage, I could be okay with, you know, with just some fashion tape, but for me, what really just made it not um, wearable in public, like to in a normal setting, was just the fact that the slit is so high. I don't think, I, I would feel really self-conscious like walking, thinking, okay, is it gonna ride up? Is it gonna show my underwear? Or, you know, it just, it looks a little extra for dinner. But as a beach cover-up, I think it's perfect. It's sexy, it's classy, and it's probably more cover-up than the people who are not going to have cover-ups anyways. So this is this outfit styled. And as you can see, what I was talking about, it has a very exaggerated slit, which I feel like is just too high to safely wear to dinner. I mean, imagine just getting out of the car and already you're seeing everything. So the way I styled this outfit is as a bikini cover-up. Just gonna set the bag down, but I actually am wearing a beige bikini underneath, and you can kind of see the little string right there from the triangle. And what I love about this dress is that it's a halter top, so you cannot see any bikini strap or anything like that from the back. It looks like I'm just wearing a dress, and this is something that would be a perfect cover-up for going to Vegas. Let's say, you know, you want to be walking to the pool party. You don't want to be walking in just your bikini. So this would be, you know, a great cover-up that still kind of is beachy, covers some stuff, shows some stuff. Um, or like I said, I might wear this to the beach club in Italy. I paired it with this really cute straw clutch. This is like one of my favorites because it's very spacious. So the next dress on the topic of beach is this knit dress that's a little beachy. Um, it's kind of sheer, so when I wore this, I did have a slip underneath, and on the top, I you know I had my like covered up sticky bra, so I wasn't afraid that it was going to be a little bit sheer. But I definitely recommend wearing a slip underneath the bottom of this just so that you know it's not sheer unless you're going to put this on over a bikini that would be excellent so this dress is very bohemian um it's got long sleeves but like i said it's a knit fabric and it's not a tight knit fabric so air can easily pass through this would be perfect to wear to the beach i could see this like on a boat cruise when it's going to get a little chilly at night and you want to be fresh but still covered up i can also see this you know, at Coachella, at nighttime, <laughs> during the day you would roast, but you know, something to that effect. Reese walking on the sand, 
something to that effect. Now, I know I'm giving a lot of European references, and that's just because I'm planning my European honeymoon, but that's kind of just an example to get you, you know, to start thinking of the vibe. You can wear it wherever the hell you want, as long as you rock it. Here is a reel from my Instagram that I uploaded wearing this dress. I love the slit. I love the mesh material. I do have a slip underneath for extra coverage. The one thing I will say is the waistband is really tight and it kind of squishes you. So definitely size up on this one. This is the very last dress that I picked out for Mesh Key. And this was the one that originally caught my eye. I'm gonna hold it up a little so you can see. It's kind of hard to tell the shape of it, of course, again. But it's a cutout dress like this. It's got a little tiny midriff cut up. And what I love about this dress, oh, so many things. Okay, the first thing is I love the neckline. It's a square neckline and it's so flattering. It shows just a little bit of cleavage. It's like not super high up, but it's not super low. Very classy, very tight, holds everything in place, makes you feel comfortable. I love the color. I feel like the white and the black is such a classic color combo and kind of reminds me of old Hollywood. Uh, when I saw this, I thought, wow, that's like a modern twist on an old Hollywood outfit, right? Where I can see like an Audrey Hepburn or Marilyn Monroe wearing this kind of color combo. Uh, and it's the material is satin, so it just feels so great. When I saw this dress, I thought that is a perfect mix of sexy and classy. And I feel like now that I'm in my 30s, that's kind of always what I'm aiming for. Um, when I was in my 20s, I did dress a little bit more provocatively because you know, like you're in your 20s, you go with the trends, crop top here, crop top there, Daisy Dukes. And now that I'm older, <laughs> I'm in my 30s and I'm a wife and I'm gonna be a mother in a few years. Um, I do like dressing a little more conservatively just because I just, I don't know, I just naturally evolved into it. I feel more comfortable that way. But I'm also really young. I'm a young woman. I don't have any children and I don't want to be 100% modest all the time. At work, I'm, you know, Dr. Burkez, Dr. you know, Dr. Shaw, I guess you could say. I still practice under my maiden name. So I'm, I'm Dr. Burkez at work and I'm on my white coat and I'm in my scrubs and I've got my friggin' turtlenecks up to here and I'm professional. But when I'm out and about with my family and my husband on, on vacation and, you know, girls night with my girlfriends, I like to feel like a feminine woman and I like to be a little bit sexy. You know, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to feel confident and comfortable and just happy in what they're wearing? And I think that something like this is definitely right up my alley these days. I wouldn't feel comfortable if I was completely all covered up and I also wouldn't feel comfortable if I was showing everything. So this is a really beautiful balance. And like I said, just timeless, classic, elegant. I know that the cut is a little more modern, so that's technically not timeless, but you know, the whole vibe of this outfit, I feel like it's just so beautiful. And ladies, like I said, this is just my personal evolution of style. If you want to dress sexy, you do that. You do whatever the hell you want to do because it's your life. No matter where you are in life or how old you are or what profession or what career you have, don't ever let anyone make you feel like you need to be demure or tone down who you really are and what you really like just to fit into society's standards of what they think is right. There's this plastic surgeon. Her name is um, Dr. Kat Bogovic. She's Dr. 90210 and she is always in a tiny bikini and posting fitness pictures and in, you know, dresses that show off, you know, several of her assets. And what she says is, I worked way too hard to get to this point to have someone else tell me how I can and can't dress and what is and what is not appropriate. 100% that just should resonate with every single woman out there. So do you. You can be that career woman professional at work and still be that fashion enthusiast during your days off. Here's another upload from my Instagram wearing this dress. Now for the accessories of this dress, I wanted to stay all in the same color family. So I paired it with a white 
faux leather clutch. This one's from Shein, and I will have everything linked in the description box. I also chose some white drop-down earrings and some white statement Chanel sunglasses. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for today. I hope that you enjoyed this mini haul slash try on featuring Meshki. Again, this is not a sponsored video. It's they're just pieces that I actually really enjoy and I wanted to share with you guys. Please like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you in one week. I have new videos every single week. So I'll talk soon. Bye.